This is a beautiful night. A full bright moon, cloudless sky. Pilgrims' tents dot the landscape, silenced for the night. It's a touching sight. Uh, you look at earthly beauty, I do not. Behold the master. He, too, is silent. Strangely silent. His face reflects what must be a heart full of sorrow. Sorrow? About what? Have you not listened to his words during this entire day? Every word. Well, then you must have noticed that he spoke frequently about leaving us, suffering, death. <laughs> he is suffering. He, he staggers. Catch him. My soul is exceeding sorrowful. Even unto death. <laughs> the end of the battle is near. I, Lucifer, shall win. <laughs> How often have you said that, Beelzebub? Uh, that is not the point, my ugly lieutenant. Remember when... when... Uh, he stopped the stoning of one of my converts by writing secrets in the dust. Right after that, he said something very significant. His exact words, He that sent me is with me. The Father hath not left me alone. <laughs> Remember that? Well, of course, Beelzebub. I was there with you. Well, tonight his father is not going to be with him. He will be shut out from God's sustaining presence. And you know what is going to happen. Sure, sure. You're going to step in and win the war that has been going on between the Son of God and you ever since you rebelled in heaven. <laughs> Remember that? Without God's sustaining help, he can do nothing. I can and will win. Tonight, he will be numbered with the sinners. He has not sinned, yet tonight upon him will be laid the iniquity of all who have or will sin. If God were to be with him, he could probably resist my cunning, but all alone he cannot. Even the angels, uh, those who did not believe in me as you did, cannot help him. He might be able to resist me if he had just the help of his disciples, but he won't. You take care of them. Make them go to sleep or anything. You've done it before. You can do it again. Yes, Beelzebub. I personally will take care of him. <laughs> Remain here at the entrance to the garden, my beloved disciples. All except Peter, James, and John. You three come with me. Yes, Master. This has been an eventful day, Lord. May we go all the way with thee as thou prayest to the Father. Oh, my beloved, I desire greatly that the three of you should spend the night with me in prayer. Tarry ye here and watch with me. I will be close by. The master falls prostrate upon the ground. My father in heaven, help me, help me. Sin is separating us, father. The gulf is so broad, so black, so deep, that my spirit father shudders before it. I realize, father, that before time was, we agreed that divine power was not to be exerted at this time to help me over this great abyss. As man, I must suffer the consequences of man's sin. Help me overcome the adversary. Everything is at stake right here and now, isn't it? <laughs> you know that you cannot win in the form of a man without divine help. So why don't you give up? Why go through all this agony and lose in the end anyway? Together, we will rule the human race. You are well acquainted with the facts. As surety for a sinful world, the separation between you and the Father will be eternal. 
you will be identified with my kingdom, never more to be one with God. The leaders of Israel, whom you have claimed to be your people, have rejected you. They seek to destroy you. One of your own disciples, who has listened for three years to your instructions, will betray you. One of your most zealous followers will deny you. All will forsake you. The very ones you have worked so hard to save, these whom you have loved, have already united with me. Join me, willingly, and I will make you joint king of this earth. The sins of men weigh heavily upon you. Why continue? Join me! Even if you were to win, and you will not, is it worth the price? Is it? Oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. <laughs> Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. I, I need human love and sympathy. Peter, James, ah, oh, they've fallen asleep, but they did not intend to. They knew not how much it would have helped me had I found them watching and praying. Oh, my beloved disciples, if you could just realize how necessary careful watching and earnest prayer are in order to withstand temptation. Peter, James, John. Yes, my dear. Oh, Peter, my... sleepest thou? Uh, I, I slept, Lord. Couldst not thou watch one hour? Forgive me, Lord. Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. Turning away, Jesus again seeks his retreat. The awful moment has come, that moment which is to decide the destiny of the world. Christ could even yet refuse to drink the cup of sinful man. It is not too late. <laughs> You can wipe the blood from your brow and leave man to perish. You can go back to your father and enjoy the admiration and the worship of angels and unfallen worlds. You are innocent of sin. Why should you suffer the penalty for sin? Oh, my father, if this cup may not pass from me, except I drink it. Thy will be done. Three times Jesus utters that prayer. Three times humanity shrinks from the terrible sacrifice. Suddenly the heavens are opened. A light shines forth from heaven, and the mighty angel who stands in God's presence, occupying the position from which Satan fell, comes to the side of Christ, not to take the cup from Christ's hand, but to strengthen him to drink it, and with the assurance of his Father's continued love. Christ's agony does not cease, but his depression and discouragement leave him. The storm has not abated, but Jesus is strengthened to meet its fury. He comes forth calm and serene, heavenly peace resting upon his blood-stained face. He has borne that which no human being could ever bear, for he had tasted the sufferings of death for every man. Returning, Jesus again finds his three most beloved disciples asleep, 
Sleep on now and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners.